Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to discuss my choice on doing this. I have changed my identity from Enchanted Emerald Sword to Lodestone. And the reason for this is, is because I don't really do Minecraft. I don't even have it installed on this computer. That means I'm no longer a Minecraft channel. I'm a all video games channel. Lodestone is a very typical name for a gamer. That's why I've changed because it's a pretty good name and I didn't spend too long making these. I also made this one, which I, I tried to decide between this one and this one. I, I, I didn't really know, so I just went with this one because it looks sleeker, better, and they're, they're basically the exact same. They just have like either one attached to them. And then uh, we also have Rainbow Six Siege as well, just because it's a random picture that I found. It shows you the pick rate, which is just a break from me telling you this. Anyway, back to the, the main premises of this video, of why I changed. And I think it's really just because it's such a bad name. It's so not catchy. No one would search it up and be like, oh, I'm just going to search up Enchanted Emerald Sword. Yeah, no one's going to do that, okay? Someone won't search this up, but it's just easier to type, right? If you're like, oh, my channel's Lodestone, it's easier to type up than Enchanted Emerald Sword. No one's going to reconcile that name. Also, it's just... Minecraft's cringe and it's dead and no one plays it anymore. I mean, not not really, it's still a famous game and fun, but it's not really the meta nowadays and yeah. I mean, I know I'm gonna have a lot of like disagreements about that. I'm not really, because no one watches this channel, but that's gonna change. My old identity depended on Minecraft and when I started switching to Roblox, which is even worse than Minecraft, I realized that I can't do that. So then I went back to Rainbow Six Siege because it's actual quality content set I started to realize that people were better than me in the game. I mean, obviously, but like really good. So I, I couldn't really use that as my identity either. So I'm guessing that all of the things that I play are going to be different. There's not just going to be one thing that I focus on. But therefore, I'm no longer a Minecraft based channel. And now I have the freedom to play other games without being like, oh, I'm playing something new when it's, it's not really new. It's just not Minecraft. Now, I'm obviously not going to be playing Roblox because uh, no one likes that game and it's really, really boring. And also, I'm not going to live stream because that's also really boring and no one watches them. I'm also going to put, like, editing into my videos, but not, not too much because if I put too much editing into my videos, it, there's no point because if you put a decent amount of editing into your videos, then people will watch them no matter what and they'll come back. But you definitely need to focus on the thumbnails more than the actual content of the video. Because if no one clicks on your video, then what's the point of you even having a really good video? Now, I guess the point is, it's just for self-satisfaction, but it's not really for that too. You need to be famous, you need to have a motive and you need to see progression. So that's what this change is trying to accomplish. Now I am editing a video. I'm not gonna spend too long on it because there's no point spending more than an hour on editing. Even though editing is fun, it's just a waste of time and no one's actually gonna appreciate your editing. They'll just see your video as not bad. They won't see it as, oh wow, this is really good. But you need to be good at games. You need to have games to play in order for people to say that, oh, I should subscribe to this channel. Now, the only reason why people subscribed to my channel before because I was so cringy. It's like, oh, I can't wait to see another one of this guy's super cringy videos. And my voice was super high pitched as well. I just, that wasn't even my voice. It was just a, I had a bad microphone. Now, trust me, this did not take too long and I can show you how to actually do this, which can be good content. It's just, I don't want to have competition as well. So I probably won't do it, but I might as well. So maybe I'll just do like a, I have all the knowledge, but you guys have 50% of the knowledge or something. I'm not gonna put this in the video, am I? Now here are some examples of some video games. really good music so people don't get bored of that and they're pretty famous as well now i think i'm going to be playing some watch dogs 2 and 1 grand theft auto 5 because that's a pretty fun game people watch that i'm also going to be playing rainbow six siege because i'm getting really good at that now not not too good but 
pr pretty decent. Now, this is uh, a tip for any of you if you want to be YouTubers in the future. Only play games that you're good at because people won't look up necessarily, but they'll definitely think that your videos are decent and that they can actually watch more of it without feeling that they're wasting their time. That's the thing as well. People always think that there's something better to watch when there's really not. Like, you go on YouTube, you see, oh, there's this video, but I don't really want to watch it because there can be something else better. But then you waste like 10 minutes trying to find a video that you actually want to watch. When in reality, that was the video the entire time. There is just nothing better. But you need to make your viewer feel as if this is the best possible quality content they can see. If it isn't, then what's the point of them actually watching the video? What I would say is for a thumbnail, you would want to have a high contrast, off colours. So like blue, orange, green, grey, like those kind of contrasting bright colours. If you really put up the saturation and the contrast, it, it looks popping and it looks obnoxious but good enough to click on. If you do really good detailed art like what I did here, and it takes quite a long time to make so no, not quite a long time, but it just takes more effort to do something like this than it does to put just like blue, red, yellow, you know, colours on a canvas and just say, that's my thumbnail. Now let's say I was doing a Rainbow Six Siege thumbnail. I'm just gonna do an example for you guys, so pause. Now, unfortunately, that's all we have time for for today. This is to be continued and I'll make a new video of me making this thumbnail that you don't see here, but this is what the thumbnail contains. So I'm going to be making a Rainbow Six Siege thumbnail and doing the actual video later on. I'm not going to do it in this video because it would be too long and I want this to be a short, snappy video. So thank you guys all for watching and goodbye.